Yo, what's up everybody? I got something exciting to share with all of you. And no, it's not the fact that I'm using the HTC One Eight Nine. I just felt like going back to this phone. But um, one thing I wanted to share with you guys regards your Pebble smartwatch. And now we know that Pebble, the service was completely killed off June 30th of this year. However, special thanks to a certain team who wanted to keep the fight going on and actually got some help from Fitbit in reviving the Pebble. That's right, everybody. The Pebble's been revived. Now, I will have a screenshot popped up here on the screen so you guys can see um, what this site is, but it is Rebel. Rebel has actually gone ahead and revived the Pebble for all of us Pebble users who love and adore the Pebble smartwatch and want to continue um, basically using it as your day-to-day -day daily driver uh, smartwatch. Now, this comes as a shocker, um, just completely. I didn't even know, like I seen and heard rumors about it, but I was not sure. And so when you pull up the website, you pretty much go to rebel.io and you check it out for yourself. And it says ushering in the rebel area. And so it's a new day, it's new month, but most importantly, it's a new era. It was over a year and a half ago that Rebel first put its stake in the ground as the unofficial spearhead organization for continuing the advancement of the Pebble platform in the absence of Pebble Technology Corp. Um, Rereading the first blog post, a lot of the same feelings of fear, anxiety, resilience, and hope have been expressed in recent days as we make another transition, this time from Pebble Web Services to Rebel Web Services. What does this mean? Why is it necessary? When is it happening? What do I need to do to participate? And read on, as all will be explained. And so special thanks to Catherine um, for basically building this project together in, but in thus keeping Pebble smartwatches alive. As you guys see, I'm rocking my Pebble 2. Earlier uh, today, I was rocking my Pebble time. I was so excited. But yes, um, Pebble, you can now use it again. You're probably asking yourself, what is the dealio about it? How does it work? Well, in a quick nutshell, let's just pretty much say this. First off, you're going to need to download the Pebble application from the Play Store, but do not launch it as you would not be able to log into your Pebble account. However, what you can do is after installing the Pebble application onto your smartphone, you basically go to that website, rebel.io, and you follow down in the blog section, there is a link, you will follow that. It will basically open up another page in rebel.io. At the bottom, it will tell you to basically, it's time for Rebel. Tap that and it will launch the Pebble app itself. It will bond with the Pebble app. You Bluetooth connect your Pebble smartwatch and it will install a new modded OS for your Pebble smartwatch. Nothing's really changed about it. It still has the same functionality as it did before. Voice, uh, voice to text still works on here, so you can use the microphone on there. Um, your health fitness tracking still works. Of course, messages comes through, notifications and all, and you can get watch faces and applications for your Pebble smartwatch. A lot of the development for Pebble has been moved over. Now, the reason why all these functionalities work, the reason why you can install applications on your Pebble watch, the reason that the watch faces are still there, at least some of them are, I will be honest, not every one that we've had in the past are in the Pebble app, as far as the Pebble app store, but a good amount of them are there and there's something for everybody. But as I said, the reason that this came to be is shout out to Fitbit, as they knew that a lot of people who bought the Pebble 2, the Pebble, the Pebble 2 with the heart rate monitor, um, didn't get full functionality out of their Pebble. And Fitbit was really nice to actually keep the servers open for a year and a half. They were supposed to close it after a year of acquiring, but they gave another six months to allow Rebel time enough to basically take over the servers and maintain it. And that's exactly what happened. Fitbit had relinquished the servers of Pebble and have given it to Rebel for Rebel to basically maintain. Now, in the very opening of this, Rebel was asking for donations to help run and maintain the servers. At this point right now, you can still donate which I intend to do, but you necessarily don't have to. But it is good though, because if you do love your Pebble smartwatch and you're kind of watching it sit on your dresser collecting dust, being a legacy piece of tech, then this gives you the opportunity to use it. 
Now, I know it's not an Apple smartwatch, it's not a touchscreen smartwatch, but there are a lot of us out there who still love and adore the Pebble smartwatch for what it can do. Ultimately, days of battery life, and that was one of the main selling points for me with my Pebble smartwatch. And so the fact that I can now actually use it again, paired with my phone, get notification, get text messages, respond with voice, voice to text, download applications that I would want on my Pebble smartwatch and watch faces for days. I am super excited and very happy to share this with you guys. So in that, if you're wanting to basically get your Pebble watch working, link into the description for you guys to go follow, read the blog so you can see the mission statement to understand what's happening here and then go ahead and get your watch connected again. And for that guys, big shout out to Rebel. Really love you guys so much for doing this. And yeah, so now I got life in my Pebble smartwatch. And again, if you were a fan of Pebble and was thinking about buying Pebble, now you have a reason to if you really want to buy it. You can find all the different versions. You can find the Pebble Time Round, the Pebble Time, the Time Steel. You can even find the OG Pebble smartwatches and bring those in. Use them to your benefit because yeah, you can't find some benefit in these things. And so that's it for this video. If you guys found it informative, helpful, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button to let me know that it was helpful and informative. I am super excited in the fact that there's new life in my Pebble smartwatch. And I guess now we can call it a Rebel. And then the major question is, is that if Rebel does decide to do this right and do it the way that Pebble should have done it, question for you guys. If they came out with their first official Rebel smartwatch, would you buy it? Thanks for checking out the video, guys.